I think we're good. We're recording. We got Dante in the back. Welcome to another ASMR video. <laughs> What is up guys, Thaddeus here. Welcome to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be taking a little step away from the normal e-commerce talk and going over a few different revenue streams that I think are different than what most um, most other videos I talk about, you know, passive income and just revenue streams um, to be starting. And I think, I mean, you know, I'll end this video with my prediction as well as to a brand new revenue, not a brand new, but a relatively new market that I think is gonna pop off this year as well okay but i have five revenue streams for you guys that basic that, that you that essentially are, are passive right now before i even get into this right i i need or i want to clarify with you the definition of you know passive income or passive revenue streams right now you know i'm not, not going to be covering anything like oh putting your money in you know some index funds or um you know fucking three percent robin hood account or a savings account that pays one percent interest every year okay like, that's not what i'm talking about in terms of passive revenue right now with 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 actual passive revenue streams right what you need to consider is is what's passive right passive is when you are eliminated from the equation or from the business model when you are eliminated 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 from it and even by being, you know, apart from this, from this project, from this business, it still continues to generate revenue. Okay. Now, there's a few different ways to do this. Now, there's uh, the I think the most common way is just you put your money somewhere, right, and have it, you know, generate some form of interest, um, compound interest, or return on equity and stuff like that, where it's truly passive, where you know you kind of put some money up front and you you set it aside. Now, that's not really what I'm gonna be talking about in this video because I think there's too many videos talking about that particular stuff. So if you want that. It's not the video for you. Okay, sorry. Now, <laughs> what I'm talking about is businesses, okay? Because frankly, I think a lot of you guys watching, right? You aren't looking to put two million in cash into an index fund, or you know, two million in cash into you know a multifamily, sixty-two apartment, you know, uh, real estate, <laughs> real estate venture. That's not what you're trying to do, most likely. Okay. What I'm going to talk about is is businesses that you can make passive okay given a certain amount of work now like this is really like if, if you want it bad enough you will make it happen it's not too complicated i'll break down each one and kind of what i would do if i was going to start one as well okay so i'm gonna try and give you guys the most the easiest or the most clear path um for each of these and trying to get that that kind of going for you guys okay now first one i want to talk about right i haven't seen really anyone talk about this and i see it happening a lot with a few people in in the industry um, not necessarily the e-commerce industry, but just you know uh, business and social media in general. But to start a white-labeled SaaS business, okay. Now, if you have no idea what SaaS is, um, it's it's software as a service. Basically, is is what it stands for, right? Is is you're doing some sort of service or service as a subscription. Uh, there's, there's, people call it different things. Um, basically, what it is is it's it's a website, it's a program, it's a software that offers a service and usually charges a monthly subscription. Okay, now that's what makes it recurring. Okay, and eventually can make it passive for you, the business owner. Okay, how do you actually do that? Like, what what what, what, what am I talking about? Be, like, with a white labeled SaaS, right? Like, you have no idea what I mean. Well, there's a lot of different ways or industries a white label SaaS can be and now the one that i would suggest you to start right because you're on social media you you know you're on youtube you're on instagram you're on all this kind of stuff is actually an instagram growth SaaS or white labeled SaaS. okay what am i talking about well i've seen people do it i had one years ago guys okay but what do i mean by white label SaaS instagram growth service well as you guys are probably familiar, or may or not be familiar, there's Instagram growth services, okay, or Instagram bots. Some of them are really, really crappy. Some of them are complete shit. Um, but there are some decent ones that you know that that can actually help grow your account and stuff like that. Now, what some people have done, some people have been smart enough to do, right, is they'll sell you some form of growth service, right? They might guarantee followers. That, that's that's usually the giveaway that you know they're using an actual bot and not um, actually growing. Your account organically okay so the, so don't get me confused this is not basically an organic growth tool um, it's using an account having it automated to gain more exposure and more eyeballs right which th there's nothing wrong with that it's just sort of 
frowned down upon but there's a lot of people that want that there's a lot of people that that do it there's the market is literally in the millions okay so there's a lot of money in that industry now what some people will do right who are literally white labeling this SaaS, is they guarantee a certain amount of followers for a certain amount of you know a dollar amount per month like oh if you give us you know 59.99 per month you're guaranteed 300 followers a month minimum you know more exposure more sales for your store whatever it is like these are marketing things that you can use for this okay now um the, the, the way I would go about it, right, because there are certain programs that you can buy for a one-time fee and then you can, you know, add a bunch of accounts onto it. And as you grow your SaaS, right, and get more subscriptions, you can um, grow grow that back end, right, which is what which is what you'll be managing. Um, now, there are also little apps, right? This, this is why I call it white labeling because essentially you're going to sell it as your own brand, but you're using something else as a back end, okay? So you don't have to worry about coding or actual software or knowing, you know, things, how to fix bugs and stuff like that. You don't need a dev team, okay? Um, like, like, I, like I have a software dev team, but that's for actual softwares and codes and problems that arise because we're running our own we're running our own systems okay but you don't have to worry about any of that you're just white labeling a program okay this can be anything it doesn't have to be instagram growth okay so again like just be creative this is just one idea that someone will take watching this video and start making ten thousand dollars a month um now all you have to do right you charge a monthly subscription usually there's multiple tiers like three tiers that's what we had in my very old one um and different different sort of rates okay usually different rates um, usually guarantee they guarantee more followers because there's more activity per hour okay now in these back-end programs they, they do a certain amount of um, actions per hour right they might follow a certain number of accounts per hour they might unfollow a certain number of accounts per hour they might like a certain number of, of, of photos right per hour and more activity usually gets more exposure right that, that's how Instagram bots work okay now that's that's basically what you're gonna be selling now it's just how you sort of brand it and do that marketing angle which is gonna determine how well you actually Sell it now. Um, the the way to make this passive, right? To actually have you off of the business, which again is very easy to do. It's going to take work up front, right? Most most things that are worthwhile take a lot of work, anyways. Okay, so get get used to it if you want to make money. Now, um, the way I would do this, right, is you can either find a VA or you can train someone locally. Um, you, or like like just don't be scared. Like go on Upwork, go on somewhere. Find someone online that's willing to learn and be a virtual assistant. What they can do is, right, like once you have a website, you, you go to Squarespace, okay, and make a website on there. That's where you'll have your SaaS, okay? Then I would use Moonclerk, okay? Like, guys, I'm literally handing the business model over to you. We're not even on the rest of these. Like, we're 10 minutes in. I'm still talking about number one. Fuck. Um, ow. Fucking kicked my shoe. Um, so basically, right, I, I would probably make a website with Square. Okay, not Shopify. This is not something you do with Shopify. Um, you could use WordPress. I mean, you could use you know any sort of like Webflow, any 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 of those web development sites, right? But Squarespace is probably the simplest and easiest way to get something um, to the market. Now, I would also use Moonclerk as your um, information intake form because people are going to have to fill out info about their account um, to give to you to run the actual bot or the automation. Okay, Moonclerk is what I would use. I would connect Moonclerk to Stripe as your backend payment processor. All right, and together um, I would embed the Moonclerk form that they fill out on your Squarespace site on the actual payment page after they've clicked whatever tier they want, okay? Then they get the Moonclerk embedded page, fill out the information, do the payments, all done, then done, process is done. Now, the the way to, again, to, to automate the marketing side of things, right? So that's like, that's the site back end, okay? To actually onboard users and have someone managing that, that's where you get a VA or an employee or someone, you know, familiar with this or someone just willing to do it that you can pay $10 an hour, whatever it is to you know onboard people and get you know get their account set up in the back end of things to start running the automation okay now how would i automate the actual marketing you know the, the traffic generation and stuff like that i would actually start an affiliate side of things for this instagram growth company okay so i'd have an affiliate program you could use tap affiliate okay lead dino there's two right there so you some that work phenomenally phenomenal phenomenal how am i gonna try um <laughs> those two work great okay you can set like any of those up okay on your website, on your Squarespace, you can have an affiliate sign-up page, right? And then this is where it takes a little bit of work up front, right? You're gonna have to do cold outreach. You're gonna have to reach out to influencers, to people in your niche, if you're targeting a specific niche, which I would probably advise to do, not just a general one, just because there's way too many. Um, again, it's like it's like e-commerce, dropshipping, stuff like that. You wanna target a specific market um, and advertise that too. But I would do some cold outreach to a bunch of influencers, get them signed on as affiliates, offer them a 50% commission, recurring commission, right? So then they're more enticed to start you know, promoting your stuff. And again, they promote it for free. So you're getting free traffic in exchange for giving them a cut of every single sale per month because they they got that customer for you. You didn't have to pay anything up front to get the customer, okay? So really, the only thing you're really paying for up front is the Squarespace 
site, which again, you get a free trial from the moon click thing, which you also get a free trial for um, tap affiliate or lead down, which they usually give free trials as well. So you're really just paying to get everything live. Okay. And that's, that's the gist of it. You can get free traffic from affiliates. You can do all this kind of stuff. Um, I mean, guys, that's just a task you can do. And again, it's recurring every single month. Every single client is paying monthly. And all you need to do is make sure that your bot is actually working and is doing its job. Okay. Um, that's really that now. Oh my God, we went 11 minutes deep for, for the very first revenue stream. But I mean, again, guys, that's an entire business model that I just handed over to you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, by the way, because I think, I think that's pretty deserving of a goddamn like. Okay. Now next one. Okay. I'll try to go quicker over the rest of these. Okay. But niche websites. Okay. Is the second, um, you know, revenue stream that you can make passive. Now this is a lot more passive, um, and a little bit less work to get started than a white labeled SAS, but Niche websites are basically, you're going to start a website, right? Squarespace, whatever it is, have blog posts, okay? This is where you'll probably spend, you know, three to five days grinding on your laptop, writing these blogs and articles about a specific market, a very, very targeted market, okay? Like how to remove chest hairs, like 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 stupid things like that, okay? Like very, very targeted blog posts that, that, that target a very specific issue that people would be searching for, right? If they're insecure about a problem or if they're, you know, whatever it is, um, they would be searching for it. Now, what you're going to do is write a bunch of blog posts. Uh, well, again, before you start writing blog posts, right, you want to verify the market. So figure out what you're thinking of making this niche website about. Okay, maybe it's like chest hair removal, right? Like, I don't even know why I thought of that, but you know, that's what we're going to go with. So if that's what you're thinking about, you're going to go and do some research and see if these keywords are strong, right? See if there's a lot of competition for them. Okay, like if there's 100 other blogs writing about how to remove chest hair, like it's going to be a little challenging trying to land you know, on the first page of Google or something like that organically. So there's a few things, there's a few things, you know, you have to like do beforehand, but once you, you know, have validated that idea, you make a website, you write a few blog posts and you need to validate that there are affiliate programs or affiliate products or even Amazon as a last resort. Just, I know their affiliate program isn't super strong. It's, it's, you know, it's all right. Um, you need to find something to advertise to these people that, that are coming to you with, is, with an issue. Like they have a problem, you need to offer a product to solve it, okay? Does that, does that make sense? It's very easy to do, it's a lot less work than the first one, um, but it, it, that's something that you can finish in a week and then never touch again and have it be generating you, you know, profits every single month and all you're paying is for like is hosting. So it's like $10 a month, right, to, to, to actually do that. So again, very cheap way, you can make a lot of money, you can make thousands of dollars a month, you know, two to three K, um, fairly decently as long as you you know you're you're, you're placed properly um, online and you're driving traffic now this does require a little bit of copywriting and you know some some nice word moves um but once you do that you know that that's that pretty goddamn passive okay now the next one i want to talk about all right is a white labeled social media marketing agency right so like as you guys can see i think a lot of these passive revenue streams right that um, a lot of people are go like are looking for right that, that don't have a crazy startup cost um, anything like that, right? Which, which is what I'm trying to do for you guys is give you guys a few relatively cheap ways um, to, to get started. And this, right, is a white labeled social media marketing agency. And I think that is something that, because again, like, I, f I feel like everyone and their mom is trying to drop ship and everyone and their fucking uncle is, you know, owns a, owns a fucking, er, I'm swearing a lot, sorry, owns a, owns a marketing agency, right? A social media marketing agency. Now, what you can do is like, you don't need to have a huge background in Facebook ads and all this kind of stuff to own one. Not at all, okay? There are companies, I think there's one called Vendasta or something, okay? You can Google that. That, that just, that's just one, for example, like there are a bunch that will literally white label it for you. Like they'll handle all the ads, they'll do all the ad creative, they'll send your clients weekly, daily, monthly analytic reports that are custom generated to your clients. Like, like they can handle the entire backend, guys, and all you have to do is drive traffic, get clients, okay? And how do you automate that? Well, you can have a VA train them or, or get a script, get a script made, right? Which takes a little bit of time. That's it, like an email script, get a VA, all right? And then they can they can source and email, you know, 40 different companies every single day, 40 different local restaurants, 40 different, you know, local bars, like whatever it is, like as long as like you can pay them $10 an hour to do, you know, a bunch of outreach for you that you don't have to do yourself. And again, if, if, if you don't have, you know, the the money but you have the time then like obviously you'll, you'll start off doing it yourself land a few clients and then you know invest that money to grow the business there's a lot of ways you can do this guys um my laptop just went to sleep now um the the other thing that, that you want to be aware of like because even with this it's it, it's a little bit more expensive but it's very passive right like this could honestly be a one-man gig for yourself when you're just referring clients to the actual back end right because they they usually handle all the onboarding all the questions you know setting up connecting their Facebook ad accounts, like all that kind of stuff, right? Um, so all you're doing is driving traffic. Now, um, I think with some of these 
white labeled companies in the back end, they tend to charge, you know, a, sort of like a steep monthly retainer. But again, that's a one time payment a month. That's not so. Like, let's put let's put pricing comparison, right? So, for example, they might charge you eight hundred dollars a month. All right, you might be like, what the eight hundred dollars? But think about this. That's eight hundred dollars a month, right? They're they're white labeling all your stuff. Okay, you can close one client for three thousand a month, even a thousand a month. Okay, you can close that. The second you have one one client, you're you're technically profitable. The second you have two, you're you're already making what an extra thousand thousand five hundred a month, whatever it is. All right, depending on whatever you charge, whatever you close them for, like that's that's not bad, guys. Especially for not doing any of the back end, not handling any of the back end, just sending over clients to an agency that that basically acts as yours. That's not bad, guys. That that's pretty that's pretty passive once you figure that out. Okay. Now the other one I want to talk about, right, is starting a YouTube channel. Now, is this is this passive, right? No, like me. My YouTube channel is not passive. I have to make videos myself. Um, I can make it more passive by like, oh, I have an editor. I have a thumbnail maker, like whatever that is, which I don't have an edit or I don't have a thumbnail editor right now. I've seen you guys' comments. But how do you actually make a YouTube channel passive, guys? There's a lot of YouTube. Like, have you guys ever just browsed YouTube and ended up in the corners, the far, far corners of YouTube watching random, you know, you're watching, you know, like who knows what, right? Like top 10 I don't know, top 10 NFL interceptions, like whatever, whatever it is, guys, there's people that curate content by just grabbing popular things or trendy things or um, doing that. Like they, they make videos without their face on it, they have all this kind of stuff and they upload them and then they get a lot of views or they go viral, whatever it is, and they make money from that. They make, you know, they generate AdSense, ad revenue from that. And you're like, how is this passive? Well, it can be very passive. You find a video editor, you find a thumbnail maker, you can even find someone to go and look for content for all this kind of stuff. And you can just have yourself a freaking YouTube content generating account business all by yourself without doing anything. Guys, again, it usually takes work to get started up, right? You might have to do some of this stuff yourself when you first start, but they're all able to be made passive. And I think that's the biggest part is like, if you're looking for something that's passive right off the bat, that's cheap, it's not going to make you a lot of money. That That's that's the dead, like that's the truth. Okay. Now, if, if you're willing to put in work and set up these flows and processes and, you know, delegate or automate and do all this kind of stuff, like eventually you can have a giant beast of a business that is completely automated because, you know, you've set up this process, you've set up this flow, you have this software doing this specific automation, you have these VAs doing this and this employee doing this, like you have a whole team and you're passive, like you're not on it. Like, like, like that's my goal with every business I start is to try to get myself fired from it as soon as I start. Like my, my goal is to like cut myself off from the business and still have it generate revenue. Still have it make me money that I can put in my pocket every week and spend it on whatever I want. So that, that, that's the goal. And I, that, that should be your guys' goal as well. Okay, going into business. Even Dante agrees. Look at that fucker. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's basically the video, guys. I know it's, we're, we're basically creeping up on like 20 minutes now, but it'll probably be like 15 or 16 or something after editing. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to drop a like, guys. I really, you know, I, I really tried to like at least kind of break down these these potential revenue streams for you guys and kind of give you guys some insight into like what I would actually do um, if I was going to start something like this um, and kind of just give you guys some more knowledge on sort of the back end of some of these businesses because I've had a little bit of experience or I've seen um, some of like how, how these big industry guys, you know, work stuff and I want to give you guys a chance to, to, to do the exact same and make a lot of money, right? So I'm out here changing lives, baby. Hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to drop a like. Make sure to subscribe to subscribe if you guys are new and don't forget to comment guys i respond to everyone's comments uh well everyone that comments in like the first 48 hours because yeah people complain that i don't respond like six months later now uh, <laughs> that's the video guys links in the description for basically everything or anything i really talk about my instagram my social medias all that kind of fun stuff and i will see you guys in the next video take care double watch gang i'll see you guys in the next one shoots yeah.